Hey guys, welcome to Enzyme Mental. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button below and click the bell so you don't miss any notifications. And today I wanted to show you how a long-standing magnesium deficiency, which is all too common today, can dramatically worsen an existing candida infection. And also, of course, the ugly and unpleasant symptoms that come with it. The body needs magnesium to detoxify itself of the noxious byproducts of a candida infection. And these compounds are primarily ethanol, uric acid, ammonia, and acetaldehyde. And acetaldehyde, as you should remember, is a neurotoxin that affects the brain and nervous system, among other organs, while also impairing the blood's ability to transport oxygen around the body. Acetaldehyde is most famously produced when we drink alcohol, and I've told you before how abundant acetaldehyde can lead to a candida infection. The metabolic enzyme aldehyde dehydrogenase, which breaks acetaldehyde down into the much more innocuous compound acetate, requires ample magnesium for optimal performance. So with a magnesium deficiency, your body can't properly activate aldehyde dehydrogenase, which means acetaldehyde remains toxic. You already know that magnesium's unparalleled regulation of calcium also supports the kidneys because the magnesium actively reduces the potential for calcium accumulation in the kidneys. This is important because the kidneys are needed for detoxing the acetaldehyde and uric acid that accumulates because of candida. With a healthy microbiome, your gut bacteria keep candida levels low where, under these conditions, candida actually contributes incrementally to intestinal digestion. This is why you can't totally eliminate all candida from your gut and if somehow you could, you'd be dangerously out of balance. With an overgrowth of candida, however, the gut's ability to extract and absorb nutrients is seriously compromised, and this can lead, obviously, to numerous nutrient deficiencies. I've told you before how we need magnesium as one essential component for converting dietary sugar into metabolic energy. And sugar, as we all know, is horrendously inflammatory on its own, and when there's already an existing magnesium deficiency, an abundance of unmetabolized sugar triggers chronic systemic inflammation along with increased production of the inflammatory cytokines interleukin-1-beta and tumor necrosis factor alpha. And the resulting stress further depletes what little magnesium you have. One byproduct of candida overgrowth is the amino acid dipeptide beta-alanine, which is absorbed through the intestinal lining and secreted by the kidneys. Beta-alanine competes for reabsorption with the amino acid taurine in the kidneys, and this then lowers taurine levels, which is problematic because taurine enhances cellular absorption of both magnesium and potassium, while also facilitating the liver's processing and removal of toxins. This is why, again, people with a candida overgrowth usually have difficulty absorbing magnesium. I've detailed for you before how and why regular intake of magnesium is so essential for a strong immune system, most critically because magnesium is a necessary cofactor for the synthesis of immunoglobulins, immune cell adherence, and the stimulation of macrophages. Also, magnesium is necessary for activating vitamin D, which then activates and modulates the immune system. Vitamin D also stimulates intestinal absorption of magnesium while also preventing the excretion of magnesium through the kidneys. This is especially important if you're dealing with an existing candida infection that is likely impairing your intestinal absorption. If you're having problems absorbing your nutrients, then one possible alternative for absorbing magnesium is to use a topical magnesium preparation on the skin. And getting your magnesium this way completely bypasses the digestive system and totally avoids the candida-impaired absorption. There's no one single solution to conquering candida. So regular intake of magnesium should be just one of many things you're doing to restore the gut and optimize immunity. As always with candida, you need to be patient and persistent. Because a candida overgrowth takes its time to manifest outwardly and absolutely takes its time to leave, even when treating it every day. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.